Okay, and the recording has started. And I'm gonna talk today about the question, is now a good time to buy crypto? Because that's a question I was asked in real life uh, of a, a, a mate of mine. He asked me about it. And I think yeah, there will be more people with the same question. So let me start with the Bitcoin price history to get a feeling of where we are at this moment. Um, it's always good to get some context. Um, I have opened on my screen uh, the current Bitcoin price, which is about uh, $42,000. Uh, it's uh, today the 28th of uh, January 2024. And this is where we are at this moment. Um, let's take a look at the big picture here for a moment. Because um, especially, uh, well, in all history, also in the financial history, history doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme a lot and often. And so also with the Bitcoin price movements, uh, history has rhymed a lot uh, over the last uh, decades. And if we are taking a look, well, the first thing we are seeing, well, here's a little little inny mini little bit of any mini mo <laughs> a small small bump then here there's a little or here's a bigger bump this is a huge bump and well we are here now at this moment um but what we can see is here there's one two three and maybe there is a new formation forming to get another bump again another peak so if we zoom in because this this one we can see clearly this one we can see pretty well as well but this one we don't until we zoom in and at that time this was also a huge uh, spike so it went from like uh, now we'll say 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 a hundred to 1000 a 10x in half a year time um, then when we move it four years later we see from say thousand to well about 20 at the peak so a 20x or if you want to say a 15x also okay so it was pretty pretty nice returns if you invested here in a year or a year and a half time then we are taking a look another four years later now we start at around 10k this time and we go to 60k twice so that is a six fold of money in less than a year or just over a year time so that's pretty decent results well and at this moment let's see let's have a look Well, we are here at the foot um, because every time there is a momentum building. Also, when we go back here, it's a little bit smaller. Well, here it went a little bit more explosive, but it was a pretty tiny market back then. But we see a build up, build up in um, a momentum before the real explosion taking place here it's the same and we are now currently also in the build-up phase for what i suspect to be a new real bull run as it is called um so this gives you an idea of the bull runs the peaks that happen about every four year and um, well this is just me ranting but we can also have a look uh, at a model I uh, took uh, three models to have a look at first what I was describing here we can see here this is not really a model but this is just somebody uh, who took the time to cut and paste the price action of Bitcoin 
uh, over, the, over the years. And you can see clearly that there are, in, in this model, four stages. One bear stage, where the price is going down. Then the pre-bull phase. I myself call it the uh, start of the accumulation phase. Um, and the what is called here the first bull run. And then the second bull run. That's the real explosive peak. And well, we are now at the beginning of 2024. So according to this uh, model, this uh, rhyming history overview, if history rhymes again, and it is doing until today, it's following the same path again, um, well, then we can expect uh, a run-up, a, a slow run-up, but slowly but surely a run-up in price. So that is that is good. So this is the first overview of what has happened uh, over the years. There is a very clear pattern visible. Um, then let's go to the rainbow chart. Everybody who has been some time in crypto has seen the Bitcoin rainbow chart. It's a pretty famous chart. Um, there is some discussion about it, uh, but uh, the, as a model, uh, as a model to help one structure reality, I think it's uh, a pretty pretty useful tool to uh, uh, take a look uh, at. So what are we looking at? Well, we see here also every time the peaks and the lows, the highs and the lows, but it's all creeping upside. Uh, this, by the way, a logarithmic uh, skill. Um, so, uh, but but it's really nice uh, visualized, also with the colors and so. And what we are seeing uh, here is the uh, the, the halving is very prominent. Uh, added to it but what we can see is that there is every time a bull and a bear cycle and we are now just getting out of the bear cycle going hopefully <laughs> to the red part again and well if you are looking to uh, what is it is called uh, so here uh, at the end of 2022 uh, it's stated that it was basically a fire sale um, I myself saw that as well but I waited a little bit to get the confirmation that the bottom really was in so I did not buy the bottom not the absolute bottom I talked about it uh, with some friends and kind of called the bottom it really looked like that but um, uh, I, I waited a little bit and I only started to buy in January uh, 2023. So, but it's okay. I, I don't do not need to find the absolute bottom. That's not my intention uh, as an investor. I don't like um, the feeling it gives me when I put money in. And then I see the value of my investment going down. Uh, I don't like that pain. So I was looking for a confirmation that the bottom was in and that the trend uh, would reverse, the trend down would reverse to a trend up. And for me, I got enough confirmation in the beginning of 2023. So that's when I started slowly but surely buying. Then you see, um, well, I was just buying in the in the buy uh, range. We are now in what this chart is saying is the accumulation phase. Uh, for me, this is one big accumulation phase. Everything what the, that is blue or green, uh, for me, it's uh, it, 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 it is buying. Um then when more people get in, well it's it's going to higher prices and 
um, well, then it's not a good moment anymore to, to buy, or at least you can still make money also here in the orange territories. And uh, people will make money of it and people will uh, buy in. But for me, I rather buy uh, at the blue or green zones. So um, the halving, I will come back. I will tell more about the halving soon. Let's f uh, first take a look at the last but not least model. I like the person who made this, by the way. I don't know him personally, but I like his thinking style. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's trying or he's looking at his model and um, yeah, looking if the model uh, validates itself or if it is being invalidated. And so he is looking uh, with a pretty objective eye to it. Um, and he's also looking at models as a tool, a tool to help one understand reality. And that's all what these models are. They are all tools. They are all what I am used to work with. I also with my... Uh, uh, a regular uh, job is uh, scenario thinking uh, uh, and, and, and to monitor what is really happening and to see if it is still in range, if, if, if the analyze is still is validated or not. So, and if it's invalidated, uh, one has to come up with a new model of reality. So that thinking process, uh, that's, that's something that I like a lot. So let's have a look at this stock to flow model and the mark uh, and the bitcoin market cycles well here we see the same pattern again um uh, this one starts in uh, 2011 uh with in with the red dots the bull market so the gray line is the model and the model gives a prediction and the colored uh, dots that are real life data points so this model predicts that the price of bitcoin soon will um go this is a logarithmic skill uh, to about if i read it like five hundred thousand, uh, say a half a million dollar each um so we will see what 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 happens but anyways uh, we are now in the blue accumulation zone yeah, so and um well this is 2023 the beer market lasted here till december so it looks like and then here yeah, at on the dotted line it turned into the accumulation zone um well that is what I happened to do myself, uh, I started to ac uh, accumulate uh, with the blue dots. That is uh, not because of this model. I don't look at this model that often, to be honest. It's now I, but it, it my my actions overlap with what this model um, is stating by accident, maybe or. Maybe not, uh, maybe because of the, the same way of thinking, because it's everywhere the same, here the same, uh, pre-bull. Well, I started uh, accumul uh, accumulating here when it started with the uh, pre-bull. Also not because of this uh, picture, this this model of reality also was made la later. Uh, so... Um, uh, I think uh, if one has uh, some experience um, and uh, one starts to understand the Bitcoin cycles more, uh, it will be it, it will make sense to start buying uh, at the moments that the models say the same. Uh, one one uh, uh, investor uh, also in crypto that I know, he we we had this chat the other day. Um, and um, he was looking into entering the market now. Um, and he asked me what my opinion was. And I told him I started to buy 
uh, last year already. And he asked me if I, well, he he found my I, he found me my actions courageous. Um, that that well, we had to talk about what is courage, and uh, what is the analysis one makes, because my analysis was that we had hit the bottom, and there was a lot of bearish sentiment around. Um, well, but but that's that makes sense because it's the bottom and everybody's bearish. We just many people just lost a lot of money because the price was going down. Yeah, let, let let's have a look. Um, yeah, if you had one Bitcoin, it was like sixty thousand. You know, you still have that Bitcoin, and it's only sixteen thousand. So, yeah, well, uh, if you saw your, uh, if you if you just lost seventy uh, percent or so of your uh of your money of your investment value 70 70 percent loss that does not make people happy so yeah of course there are a lot of people with uh yeah in a bad mood um but having knowledge of this four-year cycle i was waiting a long time for this moment to find a good entry point so yeah well that was the discussion we had uh, for for him uh, because the sentiment everywhere around us uh, because we always are together uh, with some other guys in the crypto uh, chat rooms and all um yeah many bearish sentiments um uh, yeah he, he he is more influenced by how other people think um uh, than i am uh, i'm more looking to the figures so um, for me it was not courageous for me it just made sense and yeah he he found he still finds it courageous but that's because he has another look another style of investment he is by the way very very risk averse um so uh, may maybe that's well i think it's more risk averse to buy it when everybody is <laughs> like like here, that than than here. But um, well, it, yeah, it, it's just how you are looking at it. I don't say it is bad to buy here now, um, because I think there will be a good a good leg up to come. But um, yeah, well, to buy at near the bottom does not need to be courageous. It can be just uh, just make sense. So, anyways. Aside uh, of that uh, anecdote, um, we are still in the accumulation phase and we are about, according at least to this model and also the other board models, uh, just are uh, waiting for the bull market to start. And the bull market will start most likely, let's see, uh, where's the other one here? The halving here, let's take a look at the halving. Here's the halving, then it goes up. Here's the halving, and a few months later, then it goes up. Here's the halving, shortly after, then it goes up. You might ask yourself, what is that halving? What is that halving event? Well, um, here I have a, a timer, <laughs> a countdown clock uh, to the Bitcoin halving. There's 80 days left, eight zero days. Uh, so it's uh, estimated at April the 18th, 2024. And while well, I'm talking about a four-year circle, technically it's about three years and 10 months. Uh, I, I just guesstimate by heart if I remember correctly. And it has everything to do with the blocks that have been mined. And after the blocks have been mined, and then it comes, uh, that is then interesting uh, as to explanation why the price goes up um here okay bitcoin bitcoin is a proof of work coin that means there uh, uh, the coins the bitcoins are produced are manufactured uh, one could uh, say by putting in energy electricity right? so energy to do to solve uh uh, math equations um, 
and um, as a reward for using your hardware and running uh, the Bitcoin um, uh, blockchain and uh, putting in the energy of maintenance and energy of electricity, you get rewards. And that reward is expressed in Bitcoin. And in 2009, 2010, uh, the first years, a block reward, you can see, was 50 Bitcoin. Um, now, at this moment, it is 6.25 Bitcoin. After the halving, uh, the reward will halve again to 3.125. So a halving event is the moment that the rewards that the miners get for uh, uh, maintaining maintenance of the and execution of the Bitcoin uh, transactions, uh, it, the reward halves. And that is about every four years estimated because it's after an X amount of blocks. I forgot the number, uh, but after so many blocks, the reward uh, uh, halves. Um, with then it's just simple uh, market, um, uh, simple market uh, thinking. If there is new, if there are new bitcoins mined, and they are sold, there is some sort of an balance of how many bitcoins are offered and how many bitcoins are asked. Um, but if there are min uh, less bitcoins produced, there will be less bitcoin, new bitcoin, offered to the market. And with equal demand, but less um, uh, bitcoin offered, well, there's only one way the price can go, and that is to go up. And that's also um, uh, what we see after the halving, uh, that the price goes up, especially if the demand stays the same. But now, <laughs> and I have not talked about that uh, uh, before, uh, but now there is also the ETFs that have been approved in the United States and the, those ETFs are like a yeah I would describe it like a tsunami there was an earthquake in regulations one might say that shook up the Bitcoin market and like with the tsunami you see sometimes the water just retrace go away so the sea goes away like now also the price has gone down a little bit uh, because of uh, selling off uh, and, and changing from uh, one provider, uh, from one um, investment fund to the other. And um, But on the other side, there are now huge marketing vehicles, uh, investment funds with giant um, uh, marketing power who now can tell their clients hey i got this product it's a bitcoin etf and bitcoin if you look back in time has done a 40,000 x or 100,000 x over the last decade and if you put in one percent um, of your money if you allocate one percent that one percent has the possibility to do like a 20x so that one percent can become 20 percent of your total uh of your total uh, net worth uh, if history re rhymes and that is the exposure we can give you with this etf do you want that do you want that chance of that multiplier well I think that the, the, the big investment funds, the big banks with their uh, uh, trusted relationships with their clients have a lot of 
yeah, sales power uh, for the coming year, especially if the price goes up again. Uh, they have a very nice story to tell to people. If this goes over 100k and it is on the news everywhere, um, yeah, who wants to miss out? Who wants to look dumb? Because, of course, at um, birthday parties and so, people will say, are you in Bitcoin? Yes or no? Oh, you, you are not? Well, they don't have to explain anything for the order to feel dumb because everybody knows that who is in Bitcoin will uh, have made money again. So I think there will be a um, good a lot of um, buying power that is coming in. Aside for the other institutional um uh, the other financial institutions that are allowed to hold crypto on their balance sheets uh, in 2025. So there is a lot, lot of extra demand coming, but there is less Bitcoin available. So what will that do with the price? So if you had, so, so to wrap it up, to go to an answer. Well, I have been uh, buying in, uh, during 2023 uh, and I'm still buying for sure for the coming three months till the halving. I will be adding to my crypto portfolio. Um, maybe even after as well, we will have to see I do not have to time the market perfectly. I think I can, yeah, I will buy uh, in the green zones uh, as well. Um, and then we will see uh, what will happen. Um, but is this now a good time to buy crypto? For me, it is. For me, it is. And just to have a, a look at my public portfolio for a moment. Yeah, I myself, I started buying uh, in, in January 2023. I started the public portfolio in August 23, August 1st, if I remember correctly. And um, I started with $10,000. It directly made a good gain, but I started with 10K. Um, and now it is on uh, 21k at this moment. Um, but this is still in what is called the pre bull run or the accumulation phase. So the real bull run still has to start. Um, my aim was to get at least 100,000, so to make at least a 10x. And if everything goes perfect, uh, that 10k USD might even become 1 million. Um, maybe might maybe be strange to hear me say that, but but things like this have happened so many times before, so many times before. So, well, we will see. My bet is, of course, that Caspar will do a great job. It was my biggest holding. It has done uh, well already, but the well. You might never know where that end up. Where that ends up, uh, uh, when everything goes perfect, it might still even become. Well, uh, I don't want to uh, call out uh, figures uh, at this moment, but it will be a very nice multiple that uh, will come uh, to Caspa. But also all these, uh, uh, all these coins, um, they. I, I, I expect them to do well. So um, that is it for now. So yes, it is a good time to buy crypto. This whole period is the coming three months. It is for sure maybe a half year. And then we will see what the next year will bring and what multiples we can, uh, uh, we can realize. So... That is it for now. If you have been listening all the time, please give me that like, that thumbs up. Of course, I have to ask that. 
uh, same as uh, subscribe, like and subscribe, of course, uh, leave a comment. And uh, I hope I see you next time. Have a great day.